Richo, who doesn't like pancakes? I love pancakes. Love pancakes. The trouble is, is that there are some people that can't eat pancakes when they're made with flour. So buckwheat is a great alternative. And it's actually even better because we get some added nutrition in there. Now, I'm going to start with a base of banana. This is the simplest of recipes. This is a sweet pancake recipe, not a savoury one. You like that? Oh, that's a new trick Snap you learned on the out. weekend. That one, isn't we it? <laughs> now, I say, I am using buckwheat. Now, I need to tell you about that. Don't let the name confuse you. It's actually a seed and there is no wheat in it. It's gluten-free, which nice. is great. So about one cup of buckwheat flour in there. I've got gotcha. one banana. Thank you. Bit of baking powder so we get a bit of a kind of puff. L I love a pancake with a puff. Yeah, one teaspoon of baking powder there. Now I have some vanilla extract there. If you could just use that. Try to look for the sustainable stuff. You want the good stuff. A teaspoon? That's Ooh, it. Rubber. And your next job is a bit of salt and a little bit of almond milk. And we're simply going to blitz that whilst you're doing that now bit of coconut oil because I do think when you're doing a sweet pancake it's nice to have that coconut element on there so a nice generous amount of coconut oil there now by the time this is melted we'll have that batter ready Now, I'm glad you're not making me drink this because the buckwheat flour wouldn't be very nice I do make all. you drink a few things, don't I? I know. But we do really need to eat whole grains because we have that lovely B vitamins in there, fibre. They've got the bran around there, which is absolutely great for our gut health as well. So we don't actually even need a ladle. What we want to do is get a nice hot pan. We know it's ready because we have this lovely thermospot here and it goes from having lots of little lines to just block red. Perfect. It's easy, isn't it? Pour it straight from the jug. Really easy. And I think cooking should be easy. My style of cooking most certainly is. This only took about 30 seconds to put together, didn't Exactly. It? So if you do look in your cupboards and they're looking a bit sparse for breakfast... You go out for breakfast. You, uh, no, you don't. <laughs> you stay in, because it feels good. It's wholesome eating your whole grains, I think. Now, we know when they are ready, because little bubbles start to surface up. And when the pan is perfect, they don't take any time at all. All. Now, you can use anything. You can really show your personality and use all the kind of lovely things that you need to use in the fridge, like raspberry, a bit of coconut and some honey, some I'm, of your favourites. I'm showing my personality by getting it all ready because I'm hungry, they look delicious, this looks fantastic. Hurry up, Rosie. <laughs> it's coming. No time at all. Okay, we quick. have four perfect, almost pikelet buckwheats pancakes there. Well, I've made these before with egg white in them, without the banana, where you call them blinis, and yep. we have them with caviar. But this is great, nice, quick, simple, quick and easy way to do no it for No caviar breakfast. from me today, I'm afraid. Just no. raspberries and hemp seeds. So sprinkle a few of those lovely hemp seeds on there. Some honey, rich in beautiful oh, enzymes. Man. Let's get that. And they just make you feel good whenever the honey's around, right, honey bear? <laughs> honey bear, I like that. <laughs> well, you know that's my nickname, don't you? There we go. <laughs> a few coconut flakes there, too. And, of course, a bit of raspberries. Get some antioxidants in there. You've got everything you need. Need. So that's it. Let's get stuck in, shall we? Let's have a taste. Looks good. Doesn't it? I like it. Oh, lovely. Clever use of bananas. And if you wanted to, you could use bananas uh, left over that you freeze. You could put them in your mm. mix as well. That would work. Mmm. Mmm. Rosie, that's great. Mm. It's got a really nice flavour. It tastes like a really beautiful banana pancake. The honey's awesome. Maple syrup would be great as well. Um, raspberries on there. No, oh, thanks. It's good for gluten-free, so get onto these ones. Buckwheat all the way.